huge area of unmet need is having options that are safe and effective for patients to take when they're having a migraine attack and options that potentially aren't going to cause any kind of long-term harm and also can be used by patients hopefully frequently without concern for things like medication overuse headache. So at this meeting we're talking a lot about some of the CGRP antagonist and Ubro Japan is one of them and I'm presenting some posters, one particularly looking at long-term safety of Ubro Japan. And these are patients who were in a trial after completing the primary trials Achieve 1 and Achieve 2 could choose to stay on for a year and use intermittent doses of Ubro Japan up to eight doses in a month. And we were looking to see one, long-term was the safe and two, long-term if these patients had efficacy, was it a continued efficacious medication? This, this showed efficacy over time. It didn't just work and then stop working. And so these, these posters discuss that it was safe in the long term. There was no big safety signals that were seen with um, frequent use during a month. And the average use was about two doses a month, but they were some patients who were using almost up to eight doses in a given month. And they were using, you know, on the average about 38 to 40 doses in a given year. And we didn't see any big signals that were concerning. So that was really reassuring to me as a clinician and, and as a migraine expert, but I would hope this is also re reassuring to our providers out there who are prescribing a lot of medications for acute treatment to know that this is a drug that can be used safe over time. We also have data that shows that it is efficacious long term. So when patients are using it, that the data is similar month to month over a year time period. And I think that's another important thing. My patients want to know if I take a medicine and it works, is it going to keep working or is it going to give up on me in a year? So this data, I think, is a really important set of information to have for clinicians to know that they can feel confident when prescribing an acute treatment that it has good long term data. Can we see certain groups that seem to respond really well? well to Ubro Japan, for example, compared to not responding to Ubro Japan. And so far, we haven't been able to see too much of this, but to be honest, I don't think they've de delved at this point too deep into that information. There's some abstracts being presented showing that people who have used triptans in the past and aren't responding or it was ineffective, that or they were ineligible, they had risk factors for use of it, that they did respond to medications like Ubro Japan. So I think that that's interesting information that's really important. I want to know if I have a patient who's failed sumatriptan, which I consider one of the standards for, for migraine acute treatment, that if I give them a medication like Ubrojapan, that this is going to be effective, that they have a chance of working. So there's some data that surrounds that as well.